Welcome to the third section of the Mastering Cassandra video course. In the previous section, we set up our development environment. In this section, we'll design the Cassandra Web Trader using a top-down system analysis and design approach. We're going to start the design from the user requirements. Then we'll analyze the requirements, design the functions, and group them into packages. Then we'll design the data model and the class model, respectively. Finally, we'll make the screen prototypes to complete the high-level Cassandra Web Trader. First, let's take a look at the user requirements in this video. In this video, we're going to take a look at the list of user requirements that will be developed. We'll also describe the different user roles of the web application. Also, we'll cover the non-functional requirements. We divide the user requirements into a few categories. First, general function. This includes the landing page and the error page, which will be used to display readable error messages to the user. The second category is for the members of Cassandra Web Trader. The application will provide registration function for potential members. Also, it'll include login, logout, and forgot password. A member can also get the stock chart and inquire the trading signal history. Here we come to the third category, technical analysis. There's only one, but a very important core function, trading signal scanner. The last category is the admin functions. It includes maintenance of watch list and inquiry of members. Cassandra Web Trader allows three different user roles to access different functions. The first one is guest. That is, an anonymous user who can access the unauthenticated pages, for example, the landing page, login page, and member registration page. The next is member. It's a registered user who can access the unauthenticated and member protected pages, for example, the chart and trading signal history page, log out page, and forgot password page. The third user role is admin. Admin is a super user who has all the absolute authorities to administer and manage the website. For example, the inquiry of member information page and watch list maintenance page. Aside from the functional requirements, we also need to take into account the non-functional requirements. Since Cassandra Web Trader is an application using technical analysis methods, it definitely requires stock quote data. We'll use free of charge end of day historical stock quote data from Yahoo Finance. We'll make Cassandra Web Trader a fully responsive web application, which is compatible with a desktop browser and a mobile browser. Lastly, we'll make the application production ready for production deployment using Spring Boot. Now we've drafted out the major functions that Cassandra Web Trader would provide. Next, we'll design the modules and functions.